Rishi from the Growing Club and we're out I'm out here at the Growing Home and since it's spring and we're having our spring potluck this Saturday I just wanted to make a little video collage of all the flowers that are blooming at our house right now with the start of spring so hope you enjoy this these are nasturtiums they're edible flowers and they're super pretty come in all sorts of colors these are cilantro flowers you can see there's bugs and little little flies coming all over them. They're great uh, beneficial insect attractors and they smell good and then if you let that continue to go to seed you can harvest coriander which you can use to eat and spice your food. Yeah, check that out. All those little flies on there. Pretty cool. These are calendulas. Another good beneficial attractant and also a good medicinal flower. You can make infused oils out of these and they're really good for your skin. Also really easy to grow, really easy to, it reseeds all the time, so it's something that comes back in our garden every year. This is African blue basil. It's a perennial flowering basil. Um, and it has a little bit more, you can eat it, it's got a little bit more of a camphor flavor than the basils that you might be used to, so it's not as sweet. Uh, makes a really good tea and it flowers all year. So if you're keeping your own honeybees, this is a great one to have at, in your home garden. Um, it'll keep your bees fed all the time and especially when it's out in the sun, the bees are just all over it all the time. Really loving this one. So African blue basil. This here is a Clorkia. This is one of our California wildflowers and we we planted a, quite a bit of wildflowers um, this past season so we're just starting to have some of the flowers come up and this is another great attractant there is a, uh, a native California moth which will uh, will feed on these and it's a beautiful beautiful flower as as uh, it grows older the the lower flowers will turn into seed pods and then the upper buds will start opening up so that's quite a long flowering season beautiful Clorkia this here is a Phacelia. This is another C California native wildflower. Um, it has this caterpillar-like flower at the top, so it starts off looking like this, you know, little green caterpillar, and then as it opens up and spreads out, these beautiful purple flowers come out. Uh, another great beneficial attractant. Honeybees love this one. California native bees love this one. Uh, another really great plant for the garden. And here what we're looking at is a flowering radish plant. So don't think just because you your radish got too hard, it's useless now. Just go ahead and let it go to flower. And then it'll produce all these usually like white to uh, pinkish flowers. And I'll zoom in here so you can see one of those. And you know, they're gorgeous. They're again, good beneficial attractants. Um, and then the little pods, you can see there right behind the flower, there's these little pods that are starting to form and those are the seed pods of the radish and you can go ahead and eat those. My mom's been uh, cooking those a lot and we're also going to put a video up about how to cook the radish seed pods next month in April. We're getting a lot of those at our farm in Pomona. This here is a scented geranium. Um, besides from being just gorgeous, it, the leaves and the flowers themselves have this incredible scent and you can use this for making tea as well. So it's a multifunction. Um, we have it hanging over a wall here so it's really good to cover a, a block wall if you can plant at the top. The geraniums will just hang down over that wall and form this beautiful green cover. Of course we got some lavender going too. Lavender is another great one for the bees and it's got this really strong smell so it wards off a lot of other insects. Anything that's got a strong smell has those essential oils in it and the essential oils and you can see right there that bee is just all over it. Um, the essential oils will ward off other pests in your garden so it's great to have a lot of strong scented plants around your vegetables. They kind of confuse the bugs 
Um, and then of course lavender, you can harvest those flowers. Um, you can make you know little bed pillows out of them. You can use them for tea, you can use them in desserts, you can use them in savory dishes. Very multifunctional plant and there's a lot of different lavenders to choose from, all sorts of different shapes and colors. So another great plant to have all around the garden. Here we have some oxalis, and you might also know oxalis as wood sorrel, and you're probably used to seeing it in a yellow color, but this is a pink kind. So again, edible flowers, edible leaves, nice sour flavor, great in salads or any soups you want to give a little bit of tanginess to, um, and just, you know, little pops of color all over a ground cover plant. You can grow it under your trees or any other open space. So that's it for our little flower tour. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're going to join us at our spring potluck this Saturday. It's in Claremont at the Pomona College Organic Farm. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you there.